G'day, just a quick video about the elements I use in my boil pot. I've been asked many, many times about the elements, where I get them from, how I installed them. So this is a quick video about that. Don't mess around with electricity unless you know what you're doing or get somebody else to do it. Simple jugs I use, $7.50 it cost me, a Kmart. And it's very easy to do, just make sure you know what you're doing or whoever's doing it for you knows what they're doing. Anyway, let's get into it. So that's the jug there, the kettle. Put the base away for now. That's the element we're after. There's two screws on the bottom. They're just a Phillips head. That just lifts up. We don't care about breaking it, of course, because we're not going to use it again. Now there's two screws holding in the switch mechanism, which you can see. You can see one there and one there. Now we can just break that switch out, but I'll undo them. I'll be a bit civilized. There we go, that unscrews that bit and you can just pull that bit off. Okay, there's the switch out of the way, they can just be cut off. We don't need it. Get it out of the way. Daddy. Now the only thing holding the element in is those three screw screws now. One up there, one there, and one there. And they're just Phillips head again. Now you want to hold onto these screws, because we'll use these to hold it into the boil pot later. Because uh, we want to reuse the seal and the screws and everything. Oops, there you go. I just heard the element fall off the back. That piece comes out. There's the element. And the actual seal that we use is still in there. It's just a rubber seal there. It just comes out. So that's it. You can chuck that now. It's not much good for anything. So that's what we have left there. As I said, keep those three screws and, and the washers. So that's what we're going to use to hold it in. And that's what we have left. Now all these little brass parts can just get chucked. They're just the switching off mechanism that the, uh, the jug had. See that? And you'll see if I be, try and be a little bit careful, there you go, that bit comes off. And all this is rubbish. Just pull all these springs, pieces of brass, get rid of them. The power prongs there. They just push out like that, chuck it. So they can be a little bit tight. The last one's a bit tight for some reason, this one. There you go, pull it out. They can be chucked. You don't need this little bit of brass or copper or whatever it is here. So you got that bit of plastic, that's the only bit you need. With this bit of plastic. There's a lot of holes and stuff, but don't worry, you can see the three main holes on that. Where the screws go. 
and on that piece too. It might be a little bit hard to pick. Yeah, those are three main holes. So you have that piece and that piece. And they'll only fit together properly one way anyway. Like that. There's your element. That's where the three screws go on those prongs. It'll eventually sit in there like that. And you screw it in there. Of course, the seal goes there. Like that. And those two prongs there, with the insulation, is where we're going to hook up our power to. Active and neutral. And when we attach the earth wire, we'll attach the earth wire to one of these posts. Now the only real bit of modification we have to do to this so you can see those two holes there, which actually the prongs for the element come through for where the power goes. We just have to drill out this piece so we can get access to those holes with our wires to those elements ends. because you can't get to them with that end piece on. There you go, that's better. Now the way you can do that is pretty simple, because if you turn that over with this other piece on, you've got the two holes where the elements stick through, those two. So you know where you have to drill. It's very easy if you have a drill press, because you can just hold that securely and drill straight through there and straight through there. The seal is around the edge, so if you're a little bit messy, it doesn't really matter because it's not sealing. It's not where the, the water seal happens. But you will find when you're trying to drill, especially if you don't have a drill press, that because all this is all rough inside, there's all jagged, you know, uneven pieces, when you try and drill, the, the drill will tend to wander. That's where a drill press press comes in uh, very handy. Although I done my last set with um, just a hand drill. I mean, what we use is these to connect the wire to the element eventually, like that. These are a little bit big, so we squash squash these down with the pliers, just a touch. And we also trim this insulation back a bit so the hole's not so big. We don't have to drill the hole so big. I'll show you that anyway when we get to it. Okay, I've set up my little drill press this time. I'm going to drill through there and there. You've got to be careful because this still comes off easily and we'll probably drift up the drill. I'll give this drill press a go. It's going to be a bit noisy, of course. Just going to start with a small drill to try and give myself a, a, some sort of pilot hole because it is so hard to get the drill to centre properly in the plastic. Now I have two centre holes to go by, there, and one there, and I just draw them out to a bigger.
So I'll just quickly show you again. That's the element. The seal. Where the hole in your boil pot goes. Mine's only about a millimetre wall and the gap in that seal is probably two mil, but it still seals. You have your two bits of plastic that happen to be fitted together right now. Goes on like that. Those holes I bored out, if you can see, it gives you access to the two ends of the two elements, the two ends of the element, which is one's there, one's there, and there are your three screws that hold your element in it and make it watertight. Now the other thing you can do is you use this power lead. You can use another power lead if you want, but why not use the one that comes with the jug? It's the base of the jug. Now, by right, you can just cut that off and use the power lead from there. If you want that extra maybe inch of cord, the bottom does actually have different screws. But any of you that uh, play around with electronics these days have usually got these uh, different sized weirder screws that they try and put on things to stop people putting them, pulling them apart. Just that one. Star, six point of star, I don't know if you pick that up. Bottom. It's all rubbish now. It's the old power plug, and they should just slide off. And back to a couple of Phillips heads. There's your power lead. Don't have it plugged in. <laughs> so you just want to strip probably a quarter of an inch off the end of the wires. if you have to. Not your teeth, I usually do it. Now in Australia, earth screen. On the earth, I'll put a loop like that. You could just make a loop in the wire. and crimp it shut. That was probably too much. A bit heavy handed. There we go, that's the earth wire. On the other two, just before I do whack it on the wire because it's a bit easier, there it is in there, what we're going to use. And it's a tiny bit bigger than where it has to go. It's not tight. So I actually cut this back a bit. It's probably not essential to do this. But it just means I can see what I'm doing a bit better. Just cut a bit of this insulation off. Would you have to yeah? it turned off? Be turned off. So 
So then I can use a pair of pliers or even my crimpers just to tighten it up a bit. Make sure one's going to go underneath the other one. Just by helping it a little. And just work it around. You might be lucky enough to find one that will fit without having to do this. But we couldn't at the time. Still too loose. You've got to be careful. And you're lucky you buy these really cheap in packets because they can break. Bending them like this. Now that fits on there, nice and tight. It's not going to go anywhere unless I really yank it off. So you do that to another one, so you've got two. And they simply go onto your wires the same way as the other loop does. Or you might have different sorts that attach differently. Or... But before you're playing around with this, you should know what you're doing with electronics, so this bit should be easy. Crimp that on. And you do the same with the blue. Now at the moment, I'm not making a new set of leads. I'm using these for replacement just the elements, and when I replace the elements in my boil pot, I don't need to replace the power leads. I just unplug it, put the new element in, and use the same power lead I'm already using in my boil pot. So you go and put another one on the other wire, and that's your lead ready. Now just for the demo, so I don't have leads everywhere, I'm gonna cut these off. So it's just easier for you to see while I'm attaching them. Now again for the demo, I'm just using a, a boil pot that I don't actually use at the moment. This was JMO's old one. But there's his holes. He used the same elements as I do. There's your hole. There's your seal. There's your seal. It's a nice fit. I think it was a 40 mil hole from memory. I won't give an exact measurement because it might be different for the elements you're using. There's the element that goes in from the back. And you just got to be careful with that seal. So you're not pushing and prodding around that it still sits in place. I've had to adjust mine once. I put together a leg to bit of all I did was loosen the screws off, gave it a wiggle and uh, tighten the screws back up and it was fine. Okay. So that bit sits on top. Like that. You haven't lost your screws yet, so you use those same screws of course. Don't do them up real tight at first. Get them all in before you... Same as when you're uh, doing your car tyres, you know. You don't tighten one up totally first. I'll drop that bloody screw in there. Now this third one on the bottom, this is where your earth wire goes on. As I said, I've cut my wires off just so they didn't get in the way, so you can see what I'm doing. So your earth wire would go on there, and there is actually a gap in the plastic here for this to sit in. I didn't cut that, it's just naturally there. And that's your earth wire. 
Now you can all snug them up, but don't do them too tight. There's no real need to. There's no pressure on these, no water pressure, except from natural gravity. You don't want to stuff up your uh, seal. You can just check that your seal, you can still see it around the edges and it's not, you know, bent or caught up in anything. There's inside. There's no reason why you couldn't do the water test now before you hook the power up if you're a little bit scared. <laughs> okay, it's attached. That's where your earth wire would be. And there's the two holes I drilled through the plastic where you can see the ends of element. So I'm going to try and do this with a, no free hands. Again, I've cut the wire off this just so you can try and see what I'm doing. And that will just slide onto there where you tested them before. You just make sure that they go on. You can accidentally try and squish them down the side or something, but you want them to go, of course, right onto, right onto the end of the element. Not like that. So it's a little bit hard to do while I'm it's a little bit hard to do while I'm filming. There we go, that's on now. So you put one on there, you're active. Neutral on the other one. Now I'll show I'll go and show you my pipe that I'm using at the moment and how I've, uh, how it all sits. Okay, so there we go there. You can see I've just cable tied the cable to the top there just to, so you're not getting any pressure on these joins but you can see the ends of the connectors and they're just pushed up onto the ends of that element the earth wire and that's it you got something out of that don't mess around with electricity unless you know what you're doing please <laughs> but uh, yeah it's very simple very easy if you have to get someone else to do it for you it won't take them long if they know what they're doing 10 15 minutes the only long parts are the drilling out the holes and getting the holes right and that's not long at all all right cheers <laughs> <laughs>